Welcome to Behind the Bean, Rent Spinners. Welcome to Behind the Bean, where we take someone with no prior knowledge about the agriculture industry and put a tool in their hand. I'm out here at Decatur Airport visiting Adams Aerial Service, where we're learning what it takes to maintenance an ag tractor. I'm here with Tony. Tony, right. how old are you and where do you go to school? 18, I go to Eisenhower High School. Now, what are you planning on doing after you graduate? Going to college and study something in auto mechanics, welding, or engineering. Have you considered maybe aviation mechanics? A little bit. So tell me about the fastest you've gone not in an airplane. Not in an airplane. The fastest I've ever gone is 90 on the way to school. 90 on the way to school. Now, word on the street is you, uh, you've been piloting different style drag racers that are pushing a, over a thousand horsepower. Is that true? Yes. Now, do you think that's just preparing you for potentially a career in aviation? Yes. Well, let's get, let's get you in there and see if we can get you in the cockpit or at least a tool in your hand to get things maintenance. Yes, sir. All right. I'm in here in the hangar at Adams Aerial Solutions with Eddie Money. Eddie? Give me a rundown. What's your role here at Adams Aerial Solutions? So uh, last year I was a head loader here at Adams Aerial and uh, just kind of work helping pilots on the ground, fueling airplanes and filling airplanes with chemical and uh, basically anything a pilot can need on the ground. Now, we're on the streets. You're a pilot as well. I am, in fact, yeah. So I got about 130 hours worth of uh, general aviation flight time now and uh, hopefully uh, this summer get 100 hours worth of tailwheel time and uh, get a seat in one of these ag tractors. So you've got to get your pilot's license and then you got to get tailwheel time. Mm -hmm. And then what, what is the total hours you got to get to be able to even get into the cockpit of the airplane? Oh shoot, it just kind of depends. You know, uh, some guys they'll work for five, six years on the ground or so while they're flying and uh, just get enough hours that the insurance isn't going to beat you up too bad and uh, know that you're going to play a safe role on the part here. So. so what's a normal day look like whenever you're in the middle of the peak spray season? Oh wow, it's busy. You know, we got 13 airplanes running in and out of here and it's uh, kind of an organized circus, you know. And you're the you're the man running the operations on the ground? Uh, I don't know if I'd want to say that because everybody looks for the head guy, something goes wrong, you know. So I don't know if I'd want to be the pinpoint guy, but uh, yeah, I guess so. Well, if I brought somebody in that's wanting to get into the aviation industry or has an interest in learning more about the mechanics and the operation side, would you get them up to speed on what you do in the off season? Yeah, I think I'd get them up to speed. All right, Tony, get in here. Tony, meet Eddie. Tony, Eddie, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. I'm gonna step aside and let you two get to poking and prodding on this airplane. Sounds good. Enjoy it. If you are interested in agriculture aviation, the best way to get your feet wet is on the ground crew. The ground crew supports the pilots in between flights during the application season. As a ground crew member, you play a vital role checking tire pressures, mixing the product, and fueling airplanes. This position is perfect for students graduating from high school with a desire to enter the aviation industry. It gives you a first-hand look into the roles of maintenance, logistics, and piloting. If you are drawn to the mechanical side, an airplane technician might be the route for you. This requires an airframe and power plant license to spin wrenches on these beautiful birds. To qualify for your airframe and power plant licensing, you have two options. You can document your on-the-job training or attend an aviation maintenance school. If you're like Tony and you have a need for speed, Strapping into a 180 mile per hour plus office might be a better fit as an aerial applicator. Although crop dusters are a small tribe of warriors within the agriculture industry, they play an essential role using speed and precision to apply products in a short window of time. In my opinion, the best pilots are certified to fix their own planes. Tony, you got to walk around, threw a screwdriver in your hand, got to pop some panels off. What's your thoughts? This is a really nice plane. It takes a lot to go into it. And once you put a lot into it, really nice, really just put together. Really just a good piece of machine. Now, you look comfortable with that 
uh, screwdriver. And I saw you check in there, all seemed real natural to you. But then when I saw you got in the cockpit, pop that helmet on, drop the visor down, you looked like you were meant to be in there. Felt like it. Felt like I was meant to be in there. Felt Do you like think? For it. Yeah, you might have been born for this. Well, we all know you're born to go fast. So between spinning wrenches and flying airplanes, which ones do you think you're more interested in now? Definitely flying the airplane, definitely. Well, we need more people like Tony getting into the soybean industry. We'll see you doing a little aerial applicating, spraying, spreading, he's in it. To the next one. If you're interested in learning more about this career or know someone who should star in our next Behind the Bean video, get a hold of us at birddogcareers.com.